Researchers toiled their visions clear, unlocking secrets year by year. Beyond the labs where our dreams take flight, innovation shines, igniting the night. In every breakthrough, a promise gleams, battery research fuels our dreams. Hi, I'm Shreshtha Ganguly and I'm doing my PhD from IIT Kharagpur. And probably you have guessed that today I'm going to talk about batteries. So let's get started. As fossil fuels are depleting and climate change becomes more pressing, we are realizing that we need cleaner energy sources and that's where batteries come in. Batteries are not just for our phones or laptops anymore. They are powering electric vehicles, storing solar energy and even helping to stabilize our power grids. This shift is crucial because it reduces our reliance on oil and coal which are the major contributors to pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. Think about it. As we move towards renewable energy sources like solar and wind, batteries act like the trusty sidekick, storing energy for when the sun isn't shining or the wind isn't blowing. They make renewable energy practical and reliable. So whether you are driving an EV or using solar panels at home, batteries are the heart of a greener future. As we all know, lithium-ion batteries have been the go-to choice for everything, from smartphones to electric cars. But they come with some big downsides like limited resources, high cost and safety concerns. Thus, enter the zinc-ion batteries. These are gaining attention because they use zinc which is way more abundant. That means they are cheaper and more sustainable in the long run. Plus, zinc ion batteries are generally safer. They are less prone to overheating and don't catch fire as easily as the lithium ion batteries can. What is really exciting is their potential for longer life cycles and better performance in different temperatures. By the way, the primary parts of a battery are cathode, anode and between these two remains the electrolyte which is generally in liquid state. But imagine the advantages of zinc ion batteries combined with that of solid state batteries. These batteries use a solid electrolyte instead of the liquid one that we are used to which means they are safer and less prone to any kind of leakage. This has the potential to become a game changer for everything from electric vehicles to portable gadgets. And that is exactly what my PhD is all about. But again, there's a problem. So the materials generally used as the solid electrolyte are synthetic materials like polyethylene oxide, polyacrylamide, PVDF, etc., which are derived from non-renewable petroleum-based resources. And like I said earlier, we are trying to reduce our dependence on these kind of sources. So in my PhD, I have used a cellulose based material as the solid electrolyte and the advantage is the biodegradability, easy availability from nature and very low cost. The material is actually a polymer with a polymer chain suppose like this and I have cross linked them chemically to make the electrolyte more compact. I have run several tests on this composition and the electrochemical experiments have shown really good results in the case of zinc ion batteries. And I have compared the results with that of liquid electrolyte based zinc ion battery. While that one underwent short circuit just after 150 hours, my battery ran for more than 1300 hours and at a very high current load of 1 ampere per gram, my battery ran for 750 cycles. And honestly, there's a lot more to explore in this field and I wish to pursue in this direction. And uh, I'm sure you have a lot of questions and many things might have remained unclear. And I'm sorry about that, but I got to know about this competition just a day before. But I really hope you got the gist of it. And thank you all for watching till the end.